Alright, so this is going to be a little tips and tricks video. Uh, starting off, we have never having your egg explode when you bring it back to ship. Now what you're doing for this trick is you're going to take your easter egg, and you're going to come over to this desk here and put your get as close as you can to the desk, put your hand inside the desk here, drop it, and as you can see, if you did it right, you it will, first of all, won't explode, and second of all, it won't you won't be able to pick it up. Uh, and this is because it's not actually registered as, like, existing, I guess. And so now, if you did it right, you'll see that you won't be able to pick it up, and it definitely wouldn't have exploded. And so, in order to get these afterwards, like, say you're going to company, you're ready to get these and pick these up, you're going to use the terminal here to... you're going to get in the corner here and shove yourself in. If it doesn't work the first time, try again. Just keep trying to shove yourself into the desk and here you'll shove yourself in you can grab your eggs then get out that's all you do and so by putting the eggs in this spot going up to it dropping it like that putting your hand in the desk dropping it you won't be able to access them until you put yourself in they will never explode for this next trick, as many of you may know, you can take any item, including hives, and hug this railing, make this jump, and then jump up here, and then any item, including hives, as you, many of you may know it as, uh, you can place the item anywhere you want, it'll count it as on the ship, because you made that jump. Now what you can do, is you can use this with that antenna on the ship to kind of glitch out bees. So what you'll do, so you'll run and grab your hive. You'll do this jump here. You place the hive up there. And you'll jump off. And they'll go to the place you jumped off as long as the bees were up top last time you were there. So you need to, if you jump off too early and the bees don't get to see their hive up there, uh, they'll just come back down and chase you. So you just need to make sure the bees get to the top of the ship before you jump down. And then they'll just kind of be AFK like this. And then that hive is saved for the rest of the game. You can take off and it will be there when you land next, next moon. It just counts as on ship. What you can also do is you can take this hive and just bring it in ship if you really wanted to. All right, to go over it one more time, you're going to grab the hive. You're going to make your jump here. Jump up here, drop the hive as you jump. Make sure the bees are up top. And then the bees will go wherever you landed. And again, you can do that with multiple hives. So I landed on that rock, that's where they're going to go. The only thing to keep in mind is if you bring the beehive into the ship, and get close to the other beehive so for these bees i brought that hive into the ship and because i went close to these bees they now kind of like regain their ability to target you if you go close to their hive as you can see these bees are attacking me but the other hive that's still on top these are not and that's because i brought their hive into ship so i recommend just leaving the hive on top of the antenna and grabbing it when you're at the company or another moon. Another good trick is with jetpack. If you're ever going too fast with jetpack and you need to slow down because you're about to hit a wall or hit the ground at an awkward angle, you can just drop it and you won't take damage and you'll be fine. So it's always a good way to ensure you get to your place at a quick, quick speed, but you also don't die because you can just drop it. Don't take any damage. Here's another good trick. If you're ever on top of the ship, for some reason you can't get down to put your items in, you can just drop them into here by putting your hand inside the little top area here. And what they will do is fall down into the ship. When it comes to stop signs, it's the same thing, but you got to look up a little bit for them to fall in. It's not going to be just your hand. These items will still be here if you don't pick them back up. Here, I'll pick up the bell and place it down. You can see that one counts as collected. These three items, 
they will still be here and they will still count to your final score. See? This is the same thing with two handed as like the stop sign. You need to look up a little bit for two handed and it will drop in the ship. Alright, for this next trick, um, many of you may already know about this, but jumping and sprinting past dogs is silent. So this is kind of like uh, the crouch cheese method in version 49, but it uses a lot more stamina. So let me call over the dog. Dog! As you can see, I'm jumping right by it and sprinting. All you do is spam space bar. As you can see, he doesn't care. You can also start your jump early and then do it and he won't hear, but if you walk first and then start your sprint, he'll hear that first step. These next two tricks have to do with a weird bug if you're client. When you are using shotgun as client, you are actually doing more damage, which allows you to sometimes two-shot or even one-shot giants, and also shoot nutcrackers when their head is still down, so when they're still in their roaming state. And here are the clips showcasing that. Alright, so this next tip is going to be when you have an angry butler. You can infinitely loop it and just keep it away from you if you're in this main tile. So obviously because I'm solo, the butler is going to rush me. And what you're going to use is these little nubs here. You don't have to use any stamina, you don't have to jump or do anything. You literally just walk back and forth up this nub and down the nub, and he'll just eventually fall down. Usually after the second time of walking over. And so if you just keep doing this, he just kind of bugs out. And this is a way to regain stamina, or just infinitely loop the butler for the time being until you can get some help. This next tip has to do with lightning. Obviously we don't like dying to lightning, but what we can do is if you have any tree nearby, any tree, so let's just say we're walking along, our shovel or any other item starts striking with lightning, but you can do is keep holding it and just look at the tree. The tree takes the lightning strike. You can see it's striking again. The tree takes the lightning strike. And so if you have any tree nearby, that's what you can do. If your items are getting struck, you just walk up to the tree and look at it. It's important to face the tree because if you're not facing the tree, you will actually get struck and die. Here's it one last time. Another thing that's cool is that if you have an object getting struck by lightning, such as the shovel, if you look up, it will only do 50 damage to you. So let me turn off god mode here. Look up. Only 50 damage. But if I get struck one more time, I'm dead. This next trick you might have seen me do on stream, this takes place on Vow, and what you can do is jump up this little bridge here. You can jump up this concrete bridge, and all you need to do to jump up it is stay at, in line with this crack here, this little corner, and you're going to just keep jumping up and make sure you're in line with that corner until you get to the top and jump over. You can do this with any weight. And here's it one more time, so I'm going to line myself up with the little corner there. I'm going to jump up and just like tap W as I jump. Tapping W, I'm also tapping D to my to go to my right slightly, because it is slightly slanted. So I'm just tapping W and D a little bit, making sure I'm in line with the crack. Keep jumping, and you can get to the top. That is all I have for this video. Make sure to like the video if you learned something new or if you just think these are pretty cool tips. And also follow the Twitch and subscribe. It would mean a lot. Thank you all.